Welcome back to Bourbon Country Reacts. This guy here is Dustin. I'm Dustin. I'm the bourbon guy. Kind of. Yeah, he, he's definitely a bourbon guy. I'm Keith, kind of a music guy, and we're here to check out bourbon and country music songs we don't know anything about. Yeah. And Sometimes we know things about the bourbon, though. Occasionally. We'll tell you what we know about the bourbon, and you'll tell us what you know about the songs you're telling us about. Yeah. Fair. Yeah. That's a good that relationship works. we've got here. So we we um, react exclusively, uh, at least for long enough to call it forever now, <laughs> um, songs that you guys recommend to us. Yep. However, there is a way to get your song moved to the front of the list. Yep. We call it bourbon bribery. Bourbon bourbon bribes. If you bribe us with bourbon, yeah, your song, if it's a country song, mm -hmm. goes straight to the front of the list. Yep. And Dustin's girlfriend has now taken advantage of this policy twice. Twice. So we'll probably put her on hold. I mean, maybe not. I mean, we do like to get a bourbon. If people buy me bourbon, they, I'm okay with moving their song up. I <laughs> really don't care who it is that buys me the bourbon. So what she, this time, <laughs> she bought us a Woodford Reserve. Uh, this is their uh, Kentucky Straight Rye Whiskey. Um, this is 90 proof, um, so we'll give it a try. I'll open this up, and uh, what'd she request? Uh, I've had that before, yeah. but it's probably been two years. I haven't had it for a while. Maybe three since I've had it. Yeah. So, And, and I had some opinions. We'll see. I'm kind of curious to see if my opinions have shifted. Uh, you know, as my taste in bourbons has shifted over the past few years. Yeah, I mean, you kind of learn a little bit more about them, pick out the different flavors as you like them. Yeah. Uh, so this one's not as hard to open as that last one, but uh, we'll give it a shot. What are we listening to? So uh, have we done a Shania Twain? No, this will be our first, and this was an Andrew request, obviously, bourbon. Was the bourbon bribe. Right, uh, but... There were others that requested us do this one. Okay, so uh, this is uh, Whose Bed Have Your Boots Been Under? Now, I know the name Shania Twain. I am aware that, uh, at least for some time, she's a pretty darn big name in the country music scene. But I don't think I've heard any of her music. I, so I don't, don't know what I'm in for here. I'm pretty sure I've heard this one. Okay. Um... But it's been, I've, I've heard it. I didn't listen to it. it. Well, so if your girlfriend requested it. Right. There's a chance. That she played She's it played before. it in your presence, yes. Right. Oh, thank you. So anyway, uh, it should be a first time reaction for me at least. Probably will be for Dustin. And uh, well, let's see what we're in for. Who's been having boots <laughs> been under? trouble i'm gonna make people mad twice uh-oh twice yeah first because i'll stop this oh yeah there's that I'll, I'll back it up so we get back to the the chorus again of course so that's how i've made you mad the first time mm -hmm. the second time i'm gonna date myself and um make people mad don't call them old you're old i'm old <laughs> we know this we've established it and if you understand what I'm saying, sadly, you're old, too. <laughs> Ooh, careful. You're not allowed to have an opinion. <laughs> Bullshit. Oh, wait. That's all we That's do. what we do That's here. all we do. Um, this pretty easily, in my mind, could have been on the soundtrack to Grease. 
<laughs> Can you see those thumbs down flying? Oh my god. I don't no, no. Uh, what? No. I'm gonna back I it disagree. up. I disagree. I'm gonna back it up. That's, I'm gonna press play again. No. And and you tell me God, what have you done? I've made everybody mad. How old do you think she is in that? Looks like she's in a class. Yeah. Lolita and Beverly Hills. Somebody's a player. So is she jealous or is he cheating on her? She doesn't seem upset about all this. Right. It's like she's calling him a man or but she still wants him. Am I wrong? Maybe she's a friend and she's just making fun of him. Could be. I like that fiddle. Dude, this is a straight up. This has to be 90s. We just watched some some um, varsity or what the hell? LAPD for same drums. <laughs> Don't call on me, so maybe she's just getting rid of him. Yeah, that could be it. The dog in the video is very insistent. classify that song N not a clue man no because it sounds like it's off the grease soundtrack oh my god stop it or like Maybe country, that's why so in all country Hue huey lewis so i guess that would make it pop that's i was thinking 90s pop yeah yeah i was thinking it, it feels like it's i don't I have no clue when this song was released so you can tell us in the comments this feels like 90s country pop it, it, I, I don't know 90s country pop, but well, if that were a thing... Right, that's what I'm saying. This is probably that. So, two things. First of all, Andrea, you requested this, your bed, for the record. And do you want to go to Applebee's? I don't understand. <laughs> From our last video. If you so, yeah, haven't seen it, check it out. Yeah, go watch the video before this one. You'll understand the Applebee's comment. Yeah. It was interesting. I so, in all seriousness, again, it did sound like a little bit of country pop, but there were some cool instruments in the background. The musicianship was fine. Yeah. I, mean, I mean, it was good stuff. Yeah. And, and it was, you know, the traditional, you know, gambit of country 
instruments played the country way. True that. With a lot of like honky tonk piano thrown in there to kind of pepper it up. I love that. Yeah, you you like that a lot more than I do. I, I thought I often cool. find honky tonk piano a little distracting. You're like, mm, no. Yeah, I like stringed instruments. True. I mean, I guess technically a piano is a stringed instrument, but it's true. It's not, not what I mean. Not the same. <laughs> it's true though. Uh, so I mean, uh, you're gonna put this on your playlist? No. 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 You sure? Hundred percent. Can see sure. you driving to no. No, you not can't. Not so much. <laughs> yeah. Nope. So again, I mean, it's a good song. Not bad. I mean, her, she's got a good voice. She can do sure. what she wants with it too. I but, mean, she, she, she was doing a lot of cool things. You know, she got a lot in her vocal toolbox. So for, I feel like we didn't get a hundred percent of Shania. There. I think you're a hundred. So this, you, you took the words right out of my head. This felt to me really similar to that um, Dixie Chick song we did, the Earl, where it was just fun. Exactly. It it wasn't designed to. You know, showcase the pipes or reach in and grab you by the feels and twist them around. Which we like sometimes. It, we we need a break from that every now and then. Yep. Um, but, I, I mean, it was a fun song. It's it's not my style. It didn't really grab me, but, <laughs> you know. Yeah. It's a fun song. So bourbon. Or, well, actually, rye whiskey. <sighs> different. Because, so, the, do you want to tell them or do you want me to tell them what the biggest difference between rye whiskey is and bourbon? Go for it. So, rye whiskey means that the majority of their mash bill is not corn. The 51% that it has to be to be bourbon, it's not with rye. Generally higher rye uh, content in their mash bill. Now, this this definitely, I think, has... You know what? I just figured it out. Hmm. That last one we had, the other video, if you go check out Applebee's. Um, we aren't getting money from Applebee's, by the way, just so you know. Um I mean, we have to say it seven sure. times to get money. Is that we, what, how it works? Applebee's? If we get like a dime every time somebody hears us say the word Applebee's, we'll be doing all right. We'll be doing all right. So the the last one, I couldn't identify a sweetness on the front of the rye. I think it had a little bit of corn in their mash bill, and that was kind of that corn sweetness I was getting that I'm used to in bourbon that transforms into something else. Probably was. Right? So what are you getting out of this? So... Um, I mentioned that I'd had this several years ago, mm-hmm. um, and I really liked it then. Okay. Now, since then, I've had some really astonishingly good bourbons on this channel and elsewhere. Right. Um, and this really hasn't been in my cabinet for three years or so. It's going back. Yeah. Because... It's a good... It is a quality rye. It's a good quality rye. It's not blow your socks off good, um, but it's good and it's priced right, right around the forty to fifty dollar range. Uh, I've seen it at sixty at some. Yeah, I think we got some retail. I, I think I saw her pick this one up for sixty. Yeah, and it's worth that to me. So it's, I mean, it's Woodford, and it's available. You can get it. It's true, and and if you don't know anything about Woodford, they're like they. They're one of the pr- premier distillers. Yeah. They really, they take, they, they do a lot to make sure the product that they send out is of high quality. High quality and super consistent. It's from, true. From bottle to bottle. It's true. They're th- very big on their consistency. Yeah. And I mean, it's, so it's 90 proof. So it's, it's not blowing me away. Right. This is a casual drinker, a it, good daily. Easily. Yeah. So uh, what, what other flavors are you getting? So I get a little butter and uh, and some pepper on the finish, and that's pretty much it. It's not a super flavorful bourbon. It's just a pleasant bourbon. Right. So, I mean, that's kind of where I am with it. So rye. Or rye, yeah. Sorry. <laughs> You're not wrong. It's 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 super smooth. Um, there's there's a, little, a hint of sweetness, but not a lot. It goes into kind of a buttery... It could almost, I mean, it tastes kind of like a bourbon. Um, it does. Into a pepper. Yeah, it's, and got, it, it's, it's got, got a nice a, pepper finish. And the finish, it sits there for a little while like a good rye does. Like, almost like a rye roll, right? Just kind of, you take a bite of that rye roll and you keep that rye. Yeah, it's still there for a little while, yeah. 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 So, so good stuff. Hey, if you enjoyed this video, uh, mash that subscribe button, give us a like. 
share it with your friends, maybe click the little bell so you get the notifications when uh, uh, more of these drop, and we are doing plenty more. Yep. Um, now, drop in the comments and tell us what songs we need to listen to. Yep. If you want to come to the front, send us bourbon. That's how that works. And, uh, you know, we've got a few people in the comments who are like, we know your list is so long, we don't want to give you more songs. Keep them coming. I'm keeping up. It's you guys are interacting. We're trying to interact with you the best we can. Um, but uh, I I document every song you guys request. So the the higher number of votes also goes towards the top, unless you send us bourbon. Yeah. Some if you if you're requesting a song that's got a lot of lot of votes for it, you'll see it. Somebody sends a bourbon, they're cutting you off in line. Sorry. That's true. <laughs> so sorry. But you know, would you blame us? <laughs> All right, guys. Till next time.